this is Patricio here for more space skim. Now we're going to do some double bonding. And I think what I'm going to be doing is see if I can do it the way how I normally do it when I first do this. And then try to show a more optimal way. have to try and think of how a person who never done this puzzle would do it. Okay, input grab as usual. No. Let him go ahead and drop it there. Try to see if I can put a sink right there for it. Uh, it can be done there. And then just finish up the track. I might have to just go ahead and put another sink right there just so I know I won't be getting it in the way. And that'd probably be a good idea. Just go ahead and do it. This is not going to be optimal. I can tell you that right much, that much right now. Put blue a little before it, and since it's sinking up there, it's saying, "Okay, I got mine. Go ahead and get yours. You'll wait there for it, and then do almost the same thing, but then he will move down this way." Now, there'll be one element already there. Oh, but I gotta be double bonded. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put another bonder right there. Yeah. I mean, if you want, you he could drop it, um, bond here, bond there, then come back around and go this way. I mean, let me go ahead and show you that. This might work. Let's go ahead and show multiple solutions. I like doing that. This would be a grab, uh, but wait, there we go. This will be a grab drop. It'll drop it, move around, double bond it, grab it, and move over. Let me go ahead and show just that. Make sure this works. And double bonds, comes back around, and moves it out. That's one way to do it. Of course, probably more efficient if I did it like this. But what will be even more efficient is doing it like this. Get rid of all these excess symbols. Okay, and we'll need to move at least that far down. And we'll sync up back with red. Say, okay, I'm done. Let's do another one. Drop it there. All right. There. Let's see if that works. Yep. Looks like it does. That's one other solution. Probably the most straightforward one. I'm gonna do something else. This is still very much a simple puzzle compared to what's coming. And there's something else which I want to illustrate if I can. So let me just go ahead and undo everything. Start all the way back to the beginning. And by the way, you can also control Z. 
if you want. Okay. I think all I need to do is to do this. And put a bonds right over it. That should work. Input, grab, input. Yeah. It will flip back around over here. Needs to go at least that far. Drop it there. And output. So it'll be going back and forth. But what about bonding, you might say? That's what this guy's for. I'm just going to put him there. And all he's going to be doing is bonding. That's it. That's his sole purpose. And if I did this right... Yep. Well, with the need for another bond. <laughs> there we go. That should... Do it. Yes. Yes. That's an ultra-efficient way. Is it the most efficient way? Well... Nope. <laughs> There's some ways that it's faster, but symbols to use, yeah. Could I done it with more less symbols? I don't know. Best left unanswered. Hmm. Story stuff. Okay. I assume you paused it. Alright. Oh, so now it's just triple bonds. So instead of double bonds, it's triple bonds. I'm not that much different. In fact, let's go ahead and try to do this again. Now, the grabbing is done there. We need an input there, so that's unchanged. And it's going to be a triple bond, so that, that, does that mean I need all four. Hmm. Drop it. Output. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. So it's just pretty much like the previous one, only you're adding another bond. different. Multiple outputs. Oh, so basically we're now doing debonding. Hmm. Okay, let's try to do this again as though this is the first time. Grabbing here, going to grab it here. Input. And no, we're not doing that. We're going to be sinking it. Get these guys out of the way. Put him there. We're going to need at least. Grab it there, at least two D bonds, and then a sink. So. Two D bonds. Grab. Move down, and. Oh, but wait. This will keep moving. this work or not? Because I don't want a collision course, but I want to get mo him moving. Let's go ahead and find out now before I go any more further. Yeah, it will work. Okay. 
Now all they have to do is unrelease. What they have and help with them. They're already pretty much out of the way. Red should work. Um, drop output, and they're already sinking there, so that shouldn't be an issue. Mm -hmm. Deep on, deep on, grab. And this is not sticking out right. Never get it right the first time. Drop. Yes. That's one solution. Probably the most straightforward. The first time you do this puzzle. Da da. Yeah, that's pretty average. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I know if at least one way we can optimize this. I'm gonna do some more work on here. I don't know if it'll be more time efficient. But I I'd like to showing different ways how to do the same thing. Go ahead and do it this way. But what I'm gonna be doing is this. And then it will Input. So input, debond, debond, grab. Tail blue. Hey, I'm done. Move over here. Again, there's. Might not actually be the more, most efficient, but. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, blue say, okay, I'm done. I'm gonna. You're done. I'm gonna grab this. Drop it. And output. Never be afraid to experiment. Never be afraid to experiment. I don't want to put this as like a B minus because then red will have to do this twice. That could take some more time, even though it's be less symbols. Yeah, that won't work. Let's move that sink a little further down. There we go. Okay, let's just see if that's what's more efficient or not. Yeah, a little better. <laughs> Not by much, though. Hmm. Now I'm going to be wondering, how do they use less symbols? Oh, well. I'm going to call that quits for the day. Let's just go ahead and see what this introduction pipeline is all about. Hmm. Hmm. A 
looks complicated. Yeah. It's, this one is not really. I'm going to leave that for next time. See you.